But we've OD'd on the vibes. <laughs> and we've, we've got, we're in full holiday mode right now. We may as well get a little sweet. So no cook along is complete without our little sweet treats. And today's deconstructed lemon meringue pie is nothing short of decadence uh, than its original form. I mean, I love a little lemon love, meringue pie. Love, 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 love. So with just a few ingredients, you'll have a fabulous crowd-pleasing dessert ready. So SMS the keyword treat to double three six five zero for this recipe. So what am I doing? So nice how, do we, how do we get these treats going? So nice and easy. I love that you can make a lemon meringue pie, get all of that satisfaction and do it this quickly. Yeah. So first things first, eggs, sugar, lemon juice into your saucepan. Don't put it on yet. So I'm going to crack okay. these first. Yeah, have a good crack, crack at it. Into, <laughs> always crack your eggs into a little bowl just in case there are any bits or shells. I'm often tempted to do it straight into bottom and pan and you oh, think I, I should be able to. But always just check it out. Also, if something's wrong with the egg, you save yeah. it, then ruining everything. So yeah. I'm gonna, this is gonna go in Kay. caster sugar. There you go. That one, thank you. And then our lemon juice. Okay. Which I absolutely love. It's also such a nice dessert because that lemon really does cut through if you've had a heavy meal. So yes, it's sweet, but you're kind of getting a refresher afterwards. Which and is... I feel like with lemon meringue, you don't actually have to go that sweet on it. You don't have to I go like that sweet. I like that, you know, that twang that, that, that you get tart, at the back yeah. of your... You know that... <laughs> so that'll <laughs> balance, you know, out, balance out the rest of your meal, mm. which is really cool. So you mm. actually just whisk it straight in here and this will start to obviously heat up. Just watch your temperature. You don't want scrambled eggs. Obviously. Yeah, um, I always wonder about that. Yes, that's why I was saying don't be tempted to or forget that you've had this on because if the eggs hit that, yeah. uh, you're going to have to start again. So, Because yeah. then we may as well just throw this into our frittata. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, might, we, we, we could, actually. So once that's all melted, we're going to add our butter, we're going to add our lemon zest because you do okay. need that extra kind of bite. But while this is doing, I'm going to ask you to chop our biscuit. So this is where we deconstruct it. How do I chop a biscuit? Well, I just, chop, <laughs> is chop the right word, crush a biscuit. So the easiest way is you can put these in a bag, bash it around. Okay. Wouldn't really be great for sound. So you can cut bits of it. Listen, like I've, that. I've crushed Go a few hearts in my day. I'm sure I can crush a biscuit. And there we go. You don't even have to be, we don't have to be super fancy. Nice okay. thing about this as well is choose whatever biscuit's your favorite. So yeah. I like a little ginger crunchy biscuit because the ginger with the lemon yes. is a divine flavor combination. That's so. very nice. These ones are my favorite ones though. So I chose these ones. Did They're the Woolies them? Coconut Okay, ones. that's also good. <laughs> Do like yourself yeah. a favor, actually. Now that it's winter, you can. Go and get these Woolies coconut biscuits. Oh, they are delicious. And one of my old Woolies favorites are they do those big brandy snaps. Oh, yeah. Those are also amazing. The sugar and the sweetness of that. And then tone down the sugar in your um, lemon And meringue. Woolies also has millionaire shortbread. I know. It's all kind of... I mean, evil, yes. but so good. So good. So this is starting to, this is, is starting to, I can feel that the sugar has melted. You'll start to feel it lift from the bottom of the pan. So I'm going to add my butter and then my, oh, how many my lemon zest. Do I need to crush? <laughs> I'm going to ask you to crush all of those. Oh, wow, okay. Right. <laughs> uh, if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, it's not, it's not making it look uh, like it's such a labor. I know, but it. it's so much easier to like <laughs> put it in a bag and put it in a bag it. and smash it. <laughs> so I'm just going to check. And that's what you <laughs> should do at home. Put it in a bag and put smash it, it. Absolutely, put it in a bag and smash it. <laughs> this if is what I get for being ladylike. <laughs> if you've got a food processor, even easier. Chuck it in there, okay. blitz it, and okay. that'll give you a really nice fine crumb. Okay. So once this butter has melted, this will start to thicken up, and we'll get you know a consistency that. Is, is really almost like a little bit gelatinous, and that's obviously the eggs cooked through, the sugar's cooked through. Is that that? So this is this when it's finished, and you okay. obviously pop it in the fridge to set it for okay. a while until it's really a solid mix. Okay, beautiful, well and done. And then I'm going to ask you for yeah. some of your biscuits, which I'm They're just done. gonna grab, and Correct. we're going to layer these glasses. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Okay, so you're not putting it as a base. I'm not, like, put, we're not putting it as a base. We're doing kind of a layer in the middle of this in okay. our meringue. Yeah. And then, oh, I've got to watch this as well. Oh, this coconut biscuit stuff is amazing. And then we've obviously got our meringue. So your eggs, which you've whisked with sugar, we've already popped it in oh, a piping yum. bag. And you get a really beautiful, glossy, yeah. Consistency. I'm a huge fan of meringues and I've got the best meringue recipe because my nana is actually like meringue queen. There's no one that makes a Can better meringue. Can you do meringue meringues? Than no, I'm coming over for my dinner. nana oh. do meringues. <laughs> <laughs> and then we want to, if, if you want, you can actually add some berries at this point as well or add them at the oh, top. So that again, tart of raspberries. I'm just going to pipe, got a yeah. little bit of an air bubble there. Sorry about that. We'll just carry on piping. Go. 
Beautiful. Thank you. This looks amazing. Are we going to decorate this? Get this whole vibe going because it looks amazing. Thank you so much Pleasure. for teaching me this Pleasure. gorgeous dessert. Now, to get the ingredients list and the link to the recipe sent directly to your phone, SMS TREAT to double three six five zero. Now, stay right where you are because after the break, we take a look and taste all of the delicious goodies that we've made today. You can still connect with us online and tell us your favorite thing to bake. Tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the official hashtag Afternoon Express or comment on our Facebook page. We'll be right back after the break.